Okay, so I am currently in my hometown, where I'm originally from, and I've been here all week, and I head back on Sunday night, but I just thought I'd share with you the perfumes that I've been wearing the most this week. First up, hands down, the one that has had the most wear is Capeline by Yves Saint Laurent. This is a really lovely white floral, sort of a vanillic uh, lily scent but um, obviously other uh, there's definitely some other white florals in there as well it's really really lovely such an easy one to wear and uh, it lasts really well on me so I know this has got a bit of a reputation for not having great lasting power but for me it lasts pretty well so that is Capeline it's been probably my most worn this week Probably the next most worn is 1957 by Chanel. This is just some that I decanted. Um, just a really lovely musky sort of scent. Um, very sort of fluffy and light and very pleasant to wear. When I've felt like something a bit sweeter, I have been reaching for Dolce Pensieri, which is a really lovely... Um, I want to say ambery, but I'd say sort of sweet resinous rose, and uh, it's quite dark as well. It does pack a bit of a punch. You don't need to wear very much of this. And uh, as I said, this has been really lovely for the days that I've been feeling like I just want something a bit sweeter, and particularly on days when it's been quite cold. It has been significantly cooler here on the west coast compared to the east coast this week, so. Um, I have really been enjoying wearing, you know, sort of my, more of my colder weather scents. For night time, the ones that I've been reaching for the most have been uh, Jeu de Peau by Sir de Tarte. You can't really read that. My That's my terrible handwriting uh, on this little decant. Um, and this is by Sir de Tarte. It's a musky, um, sandalwoody, spicy... I, I feel like I get maybe a little bit of sesame or something in here too, kind of nutty. There's uh, definitely florals as well. Um, it's just, it's meant to be reminiscent of the smell of um, tucking a baguette under your arm and carrying it home, I think with a newspaper or something like that. So um, it's just got this sort of bready papery, woody, slightly lactonic, almost a bit fruity as well, sort of scent to it. And it's very, very comforting. And the other one that's really, really comforting for me is number 22 by Chanel. This is from the Les Exclusives line, um, an aldehydic floral, lots of tuberose, but I also get uh, quite a bit of rose in this one as well. It's very, very beautiful. I've also been wearing quite a bit of Bois de Amini by Guerlain. Uh, I did a little video on this not too long ago where I was comparing this to Benjamin Bohème by Diptyque. Uh, I do prefer Benjamin Bohème, but I have some samples of this and given that I'm traveling, I thought this would be a nice supplement and um, I've really been enjoying these mostly sort of in the early evening, late afternoon, uh, particularly if we're about to go out somewhere. That's uh, what I've been wanting to reach for. So that is Bois de Harmony by Guerlain. Um, for the daytime, particularly in the early morning when I'm outdoors going for a walk by the beach, I have been really enjoying Frangipani by Ormond Jane, just a really lovely fresh green sort of citrusy scent. Because we're near the beach, um, it's definitely not beach weather, but we are near the beach location-wise. I also have been enjoying So Nude by Costume National, which is one of my favourite tuberose perfumes. It's sort of like a spicy tuberose. There's a bit of cumin in here, and I really, really love it. I haven't worn it in ages, and I've just been really, really enjoying this one. And then finally my sort of recent discovery and heartbreakingly discontinued uh, A Pom Femme by MFK has been another one that I've been wearing quite a bit. I literally, um, I'm almost at the end of this sample and I'm very, very sad. This is a really gorgeous um, uh, white and yellow floral, mostly yellow floral. I get a lot of ylang-ylang from here. 
um, but there's also some sort of woodiness as well and it's kind of soapy but spicy and I don't know I just it's it's very big and it's fantastic but very sadly discontinued there is a new a poem that has been released which is more meant to be sort of like more unisex between you know, I guess sitting somewhere between the the old femme and um, poor Rom. but um, I did go in store and sample it the other day and whilst it's very pleasant it just didn't grab me the way this one did so that's what I've been wearing this week while I've been interstate. Uh, I've actually been wearing quite a lot, really, when you think about it. And partly that's just because, you know, while I've been here, we've had lots of people to catch up with and I've been going out for dinners and lunches and breakfasts. <laughs> so there's been a lot happening. I'm pretty tired, um, but I have been really enjoying wearing all of these fragrances. So let me know what you've been wearing this week.